this is here and now. And uh, here we go. Where are we going to? Is this uh, another war on top of a war on top of a war or what? What is going on? Well, oh, no, that's for sure. That's for sure. I haven't heard much of what was happening in Moscow. Do you do you hear, you know, what's uh, what this well, uh, yeah, attack on I, Moscow is all about? Yes, I can give you a pretty updated view. I've been listening to it most of the night. Yesterday afternoon, I, I'm recording on Saturday, the uh, 23rd of March. So yesterday, the 22nd of March, in the evening, there was a concert in Kras Krasnogorsk, which is in the Russian suburb um, near Moscow. Mm -hmm. uh, four, four terrorists uh, entered entered the building, just turned people down like dogs. It was mm -hmm. that's how, just like, just very similar to how how I'll. I'll Al Shabaab went to the Westfield Shopping Center in in uh, in um, uh, Nairobi. Just walked in and started killing people. There's wow. videos of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like, hey, let's let's kill somebody. Just, mm -hmm. You know, and um, so uh, and they obviously were very prepared to even burn the building down because they had some um, in, some incendiary devices and they mm -hmm. actually they actually caught the building on fire. So this. This is like a uh, an event center where people have parties and concerts, and it was a concert planned, and um, so they knew people were going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, so four four people participated in um, in uh, in the mass murder. Um, they they actually escaped by mm -hmm. car and were on their way to Ukraine. Oh, and they were oh, that's a good indication of where they came from. And 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 they were caught um, in in the um, admission area near the border. Four four have been detained, and eleven in total. To me, and, and eleven others have been have been detained. Um, currently, the death toll is about one hundred and twenty dead. Um, hundreds more wounded. Uh, a lot of things are going on in that area right now. As far as support. Um, Cab rides, um, security has a little bit has been taken up a little bit. Uh, uh, so that's what I know. The one, one person was interrogated, and the video was shown on uh, Ria Ria No Novosti, and he claimed, you know, true or true or not, that he was he came in from Turkey and was paid five thousand dollars. This is what this one person has said. Who knows if that's true or not? That's all I can tell you, but it, it was a definitely um, a terrorist attack. Um, I expected these attacks to have occurred because we had the daughter of um, of um, Dujan murdered in Moscow. Her car, her car oh, was yeah. blown up. You had the uh, the blogger, military blogger, during a book reading in Saint Petersburg. The event was blown up. Um, you have the head of the secret police in uh, Ukraine. And plus, there was an article a few weeks ago in in the in the New York Times talking about how the CIA has been working secretly in Ukraine for decades to mm -hmm. to wage war against Russia. Uh, so clearly, you know, this whoever carried out the event knew the lay of the land well enough to come in, carry it out, and and, and escape. Um, they did get; they have been detained. Uh, many people have been murdered. They're dead. The injured are there, and it was a very tragic event. But I have no knowledge of this. The U.S. two weeks ago gave a warning to Americans to avoid certain situations. Mm -hmm. So clearly, the Americans and the British knew something, knew about it, or knew what was going to mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I have expected this mm -hmm. because the Ukrainians don't have any way of winning militarily, mm -hmm. so they have to resort to terrorism. Mm -hmm. So whether or not the Ukrainian government itself was the organizer of it. They were trying to escape to Ukraine and more than likely had a way to get in. If, if, if they didn't have a way to get in, they would be going, going, you know, going, you know, going for the border. So that was their escape route. And we'll just see how things proceed from here. You know, that's all I can say right, right now. Hmm. This reminds me of the reports that I heard previously about the uh, chemical and biological warfare labs that were set up by the CIA. On Ukrainian territory because it was illegal on the on American territory. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so uh, that might be happening as well. Wow. 
Yes, I think this campaign, the Russian uh, military, special military operation to for the denazification of the Ukraine is in order. I don't think they should go over the Dnieper River, but uh, I think that uh, where they can uh, find the sites, uh, military sites within Ukraine property, proper, then uh, they should go after that for sure. Even though, you know, on the ground, you know, the, the Donbass region doesn't go beyond the uh, Danube River there, you know, so that's, that's sufficient. And they don't have a, they don't have a mandate, you know, to go any further than that either. But the recent elections that took place, you know, through Putin, he got, you know, quite a, quite a mandate, you know, in those elections and, in both uh, Lugansk and um, Donetsk, he got a what uh, ninety-two and ninety-four percent of the vote. Yeah, yeah well, those mm. those people want those people want those those people wanted to be out of Ukraine and part of Russia. So since they're in Russia now, they're going to vote very heavily in favor of of the current administration. That really is is to be expected. And I think it was a fair election because uh, for identification purposes. Uh, Ukrainian passports were were accepted, uh, in addition to Russian passports. So nice. uh, there was no discrimination as to uh, who a potential voter might be. So uh, wouldn't have it. Show, it sure would have been, Well, United States, you have to show passport to vote. But you know, um, but it's, it's very good to see that everyone had a chance to vote and participate. I personally, this is me politically. I'm not saying what people should or shouldn't do. But I'll be damned if I got to have an international observer in my country looking at elections when nobody comes to the United States to look at elections. But yeah. that's just me. That's me talking about how I see it. Everybody got their own way of dealing with stuff. But I, yeah. I don't think it's right that you got to have it look. You you have a, you choose to have a, somebody watching your vote, but can't nobody yeah. watch your vote. Hey 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 hey. Hey, I hey, volunteer. Hey. I volunteer to be uh, an observer in the American election, the next uh, American presidential election. I'll come and check it out. You know, for you, no uh, problem. You, 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 they probably stop you at the border. You, you ain't getting in here. Oh, well. Yeah, they would detain me at the border are. for thirty days. I, I, I saw, well, I saw yeah. your picture. I saw your picture. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh wow. So you know that's that's it. It's, it's been the, the news on the on the internet has been interesting. Um, and actually, to be very fair, if it wasn't for the internet, we wouldn't know anything about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, this is a story that clearly the internet has been the source of information. Not mm -hmm. the New York Times, not the yeah. Washington Post. No, the internet, be it on Telegram or just YouTube or, mm -hmm. or some other platform. Amazing. And now it's on here and now. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. It's right. Here we are. <laughs> on the internet, still getting the word out. So I hope yeah. everybody, please, will hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and mm -hmm. share this video far and wide so we can have more people watching and and tuning in and participating in in this conversation. Yeah. Um, uh, today, uh, before we got started, I did a, a recording of my own just to test out the new microphone here, and uh, I I elaborated a whole sort of you know uh, uh, theorem basically of of what armed struggle is and uh, and how uh, one can uh, evaluate you know what the armed struggle by Hamas was like. Uh, according to the documentary put out by Al Jazeera on October the 7th. And uh, I did a, you know, a sort of a critique of uh, Hamas for having taken down the uh, civilians at the Nova Ray Festival, but I uh, discounted the uh, horror stories and uh, and put forward the, the uh, Jewish Bundes uh, military uh, code to uh, uh, note that, uh, you know, Basically, what Hamas was doing was, you know, quite legal in terms of uh, of armed struggle uh, uh, ethics and international law, because uh, according to even the Jewish Bund in resistance against the Nazi occupation, like my uh, mother's brother, first you take down the officers who are given the orders, then you take down the soldiers who are carrying out the orders, and then you take down the informers who are who are killing people um, by denunciation. And that's it, you know, like the rest of the civilians, no matter what they think or or whatever, you know, what relationship they have to any of the uh, military are not uh, considered to be military targets. So that's uh, why, you know, there is a difference uh, with the uh, practice of the Hamas fighters. But, you know, like, 
what I saw in that documentary, you know, these Hamas fighters, they had no direction. There was no sort of, you know, like a, uh, either a chain of command or a council, you know, no sort of, you know, sit down, you know, strategy talk, you know, nothing, you know, they're just sort of, you know, wandering around in the kibbutzim, you know, in the villages there, you know, wondering what to do next, because they took down the military within one hour. <laughs> they got to the, uh, they got to the, uh, you know, the kibbutzim in, in the, uh, on the Palest the old Palestinian land of 1947. And, and uh, they got there, you know, like, and they could do, you know, like, what do they want? They didn't know what to do. Only, you know, to take hostages, yes. But they didn't have, you know, that many vehicles. So they had to confiscate the vehicles of the kibbutzim, you know, tractors and 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 wagons, you know, and start taking people, you know, back, you know, on these little sort of mini tractors, you know, going at five miles an hour or something like that. <laughs> Incredible, you know, like, and then, you know, uh, even after that, you know, trying to get back to Gaza, then all, you know, these civilians are flooding across the the fence, you know, into the uh, in the kibbutzim, you know, to to loot and to take hostages themselves. You know, civilians were taking, uh, you know, Israeli civilians hostage on their mini bikes, <laughs> you know, with three people on a mini bike, you know, trying to make it back, you know, to, to Gaza with a helicopter chasing them, you know, like shooting them down, you know, like insects together with the this hostages, is... of course. Incredible scene. Complete well, anarchy. Uh... Where did you see this? Al Jazeera. They have this documentary now, an hour-long documentary that they got oh, some I, I, new I footage from. It. Oh, we it's incredible, to, you know, to see to the, see you know, because they took the body cam videos, you know, like I have a body cam at the oh. vigil tomorrow. They had thought of body cams too, you know, I don't know where they got them from, maybe China, you know, like I did. But, uh, you know, they had these, you know, good videos, you know, like high definition, you know, colored videos, you know, of what the Hamas fighters were doing, you know, by their own body cams, you know, because they lost the body cams after they were killed, of course. So that's how they got the body cams and they were made available to Al Jazeera. This is a must see then. This is a must see. This is must see. Yeah. We must see. The reason why I'm saying this is, first of all, I just want to commend you for doing the research, uh, Abraham, on on what the military code of conduct should be hmm. because i think it's important because all of our movements at one time or another are going to have a military component whether hmm. we whether we advocate it or not it's going to happen and what we advocate to other the others on how to conduct themselves exactly. in, a, in a principled fashion now, now uh mao Zedong had this in in the in the little red the little red book Three, uh, the ten points of attention and and the three the three main points of discipline. So I know that growing up, when I read that book, that's the first time I had seen such a such such statement. So it's important to, hmm. you know, I mean, whether you have guides on what to do afterwards or not for the soldiers and and the and the leadership to know here's what we're going to do, here's what we're not going to do, hmm. and make. They make that just make that very clear. I mean, you know, if say for example they had to get cars, well, they had to get the cars from somebody. Hmm. You could say, man, you couldn't just say, man, the may may have the keys, please. <laughs> no, no, that's not the, that no, no. So yeah. you may have to use some force to get the keys. Okay, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say be, be, be realistic, like the tractor. Here, here, the tractor. I doubt someone. Some people may hear me. Take the key. Take the tractor. Get out of here. Oh, that's that's no problem. You know, that's not even by an act of violence. It's just it's just a matter of uh, confiscation. Yeah. There. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, the way, there may not be some confiscation, and confiscation in those situations is best done by you know we need this. Yeah. If not, you may have to use the means to get it, but hopefully you have to take nobody's life to get it. Yeah. You know that that kind of thing. You know, but uh, I really would like to see this video, and I hope you can. I don't know if we're if you're gonna share it in the in the chat or in the description below, but I definitely would like to get it from you or know where I can find it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get the uh, the link and I'll put it in in all the places. Yeah, for good, sure. Good, 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 good. Because it's very necessary to find you know what armed struggle is, you know, because the Zionists, you know, start off you know with the verbiage uh, being you know popular front, you know, with the national bourgeoisie, you know, the national liberation movement, and they claim the right of self of armed struggle. Okay. But they, you know, the way they, you know, like used armed struggle, first of all, they weren't, you know, like uh, into national liberation. They weren't into national suppression of the Palestinians. You know, they weren't fighting so much against the British as they were against the Palestinians. So it's of a course, total sort yes. of, you know, inversion of, you know, the claim that they're making. But nonetheless, you know, what they're doing now is they're taking out people for a thought crime. 
because they think that they're Palestinians and so they don't deserve to live, you know, because they can't tolerate anybody who thinks that they're a Palestinian. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, in Israel, you're not allowed to use the word Palestinian. You can only talk about the Arabs. You know, just talk about the Palestinians right away. You're a traitor. <laughs> that's, you know, like about well, it. That, that, that just shows you that Israel is a country that if anybody is concerned with human rights, social justice, peace, intelligent discourse, um, you really have to watch your step if you live there. Mm -hmm. Because if I can't have a discussion about a topic, then the revolution that people fought for, it wasn't worth it. Even though, even though you might not like the topic, I can have a discussion about the topic and we can say, okay, that's social taboo in our country. Okay, fine. But yeah, it, 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 I, I've heard that a lot from uh, the Zionist Israelis in Palestine, in Israel, in Palestine. Mm -hmm. Well, there are no Palestinians because there are no, there is no, there is no Palestine. Well, that means there aren't, that means that there are no African Americans because there, because there is no African America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's, that's what you're saying. Yeah. And it also means there's no Jewish people because there wasn't a state before. <laughs> yeah. So the, the whole thing that they, the entire argument these folks make, it not only boggles the mind, it shows the warped philosophy and the civilization that they that they are that they are part of is very demented and chauvinistic and very, very militaristic. Yeah. They will simply wipe out, they'll wipe you out. They're, they're, yeah, they're Spartan, no very Spartan state like mentality, you know, like upbringing, yeah, yeah. you know, the militaristic framework. Very, All the educational very, system is yes. geared, you know, to militarism. Yes. And then they can't yeah. even go to university without going to the military first, you know, like it's. Yeah. 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 It's very Spartan. That, that Spartan kind of, I, that Spartan kind of, it's, it's, um, I can see a society needing that at certain times. Um, but if you're or, or if if you organize around that, how do you allow for the body politic to exist and to diversify its views so that that society can become stronger? Israel's having that problem now, I think. And I, I'm not an expert in Israel anyway. But what they're going through now, what they're doing now, is going to change the entire fabric of the, of their thinking towards mass murder, mm. towards. Uh, the oppression of Palestinians and non-Israeli people. Mm -hmm. It's rather sadistic the care acts they're carrying out. And when you have a society in which sadism and mass violence is accepted and is part of, because part of the DNA, mm -hmm. that's 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 a problem world. People like that can't fit in the world too well, I don't think. Mm -hmm. well, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong about this. Mm -hmm. Anyway. It's it's uh it's also can be sort of, you know, uh, considered in, in, term, in uh, terms of uh, mentality, in terms of the, the psychological makeup, you know, of the, of, the, of the body politic there, you know, because it's a common body politic and it's, you know, a mass, mass mentality that they have, which is delusional. First of all, the military are trained and taught and think that they are defending the Jewish people, that that's their purpose. And they're defending the Jewish people by oppressing the Palestinian people. And they consider the Palestinians, they're taught that the Palestinians are a genocidal people who are trying to wipe out the Jewish people. <laughs> and so therefore, uh, it's permissible to wipe them out in order to prevent the wiping out of the Jewish people. Okay. Now, since their intention, stated intention is to wipe out the Palestinian people, then by reciprocity, the Palestinians have the right to consider that they are obliged to wipe out the Jewish Israeli population before they get wiped out themselves. <laughs> so, you know, like they have created the conditions, you know, for their own, uh, you know, like elimination, you know, like because they adopted the uh, that kind of methodology, you know, the methodology itself, you know, is irrational, you know, in and of itself, together with the delusions that they cultivate in order to justify the call for genocide of the Palestinians to begin with. So it's yeah. you know an incredibly yeah. crazy situation, and by but see, by creating the ideology that the Palestinians are this alien people who are intent on destroying them, 
then the, then the Jewish state, the Israeli state, the Zionist state creates this creates the conditions where they are they are creating their own enemies by by their own ideology. Yes, and and according to their That's own logic, the they are creating the justification for their own elimination. Right. You know, so this demonstrates that their own set of logic, their own methodology, is faulty to say the least. You know, if it leads to mutual self mutual self destruction, you know, mutual elimination, you know, that's all that that kind you of see, methodology leads but, to. But, but Abraham, if you, I mean, you you just said something mutual destruction. You know, back in the old, or not the not too far long ago, fifty years ago. Even the Soviet Union, the United States, understood that once the war starts, it's over. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it mad, mutually assured yeah. destruction. Once yeah. it starts, it's over. Yeah. So we don't want to start. Yeah. The Israelis don't have that view, and that's the <laughs> danger of that view. Yeah, they don't yeah. care about the war because you don't know. I don't know what Hamas has in its. In, in its last ditch treasure chest of, of weapons? No, you don't. We don't have any idea. They, they, I mean, whatever. And neither do we know what Israel has. What we do? They, they have, they have nuclear weapons. Hmm. They have nuclear weapons. They have nuclear weapons. There's no doubt about it. I don't have to have evidence. I just have evidence by by this investigation. Hmm. So both sides in this conflict, because it's being fought. But it's really side on a deep suspicion and animus toward Palestinians. See, that doesn't even allow for negotiations. No, it doesn't. That 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 doesn't allow for dialogue. Yeah. Not real dialogue. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why this situation will probably never come to a truce. And because it's just like the basis for the aggression denies those being aggressed, the right to be considered equal. And it's, it's, in many ways, it's it's like, it's just another form of racism, except, except, except you have a state that's carrying yeah. out the race. That's it's the definition state. of racism right then and there. You know, racism is denying the right to exist. Yeah. And since since the Jewish, this since the Israeli Zionist state has this approach to, has this, this belief, this policy, this practice towards Palestinians, Unfortunately, it 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 prevents peace from occurring, and that's that's the danger. Look at what's happening now yeah, in, uh, in Gaza. That's the design of state. They don't want peace. You know that's they not why it exists. Peace. You know that's not the purpose peace. of the design of state. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Is right. They don't want peace, yeah. and that's why the situation now is so dire. That's why people are dying. That's why people don't have a hospital to go to. That's why there's no food because they don't want peace. They want destruction. Yeah. Well, if people. you look at it, you know, the history of it, you know, like the Zionists, you know, military forces have attacked repeatedly. Oh, always. 1947 always. to 1949. Always. 1956, always. they attacked the Suez Canal, you know, together with the France and Britain. 1967, they attacked Jordan and took over the West Bank and pieces of uh, Syria and Lebanon. Lebanon, they attacked, you know, up to the Itani River. Then they attacked again, right up into Beirut, and massacre of Sabr Shatila. Now they've attacked Gaza, Gaza, and, and you the, know, the but they've been forced to that. retreat, you know, when they have retreated, you know, like from the Sinai, they've been forced to do so because 1973, they nearly lost that war there. So in order to save the state, you know, they had to, you know, <laughs> concede, you know, the territory back to Egypt. Otherwise they wouldn't have done so. Yeah. But, but when you have a, a military, okay. I am not against tactically throwing the first blow. I'm not against that tactically. That might be the strategy I choose in, in a particular war. Well, that's what Hamas did. Yeah, <laughs> like this time, you know. Like... But, but I'm saying that if you are, if that is the basis, if you have a racist chauvinist view as Israel toward the Palestinians and toward their existence as a people, and your view is always to sort the first blow, then you pretty much are an aggressor. You you know you you don't believe there's any place for non-aggressive behavior of of your society, and that's mm -hmm. what makes you so dangerous mm -hmm. and unpredictable. 
There's mm -hmm. nothing. That's what I've always said about the design of the state. And I excuse, hope no one takes this the wrong way. There's nothing that there's nothing that they won't do. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my view. And not because I don't like them. It's just nothing that they and the and the collective West behind them are the allies. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's something they may not be want. Let, let, let's look at what's happening in Moscow right now. My view is the US and Britain would rather not be connected officially to these to this event. Yeah. Not not, not officially. That's that that's a little that's that's war. If if you're officially connected, it's time we have to go to war. That's it. We have to go to war. Mm -hmm. So they rather have a more than an arm's length connection. They may give a nod and a wink. Mm -hmm. Um, they've already said that the guns that were used were imported from another country, which is always a sign that some they 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 they, they were not locally purchased. Mm -hmm. So they would prefer. To, I I, still, I, still, I I do think it's in the interest of destabilizing. Russia that the U.S. and Britain would support would would support it, or if if they do about it, wouldn't wouldn't would block it. But if you always have the aggressor approach, dude, people are not going to give you a second. People are not going to give you a second chance mm -hmm. when they get the chance, like like just like Hamas, get the chance mm -hmm. to just go into attack because they know what you do. They're not, mm -hmm. they're, they'll catch you, which catch you. It, when when you're sitting on on the toilet or or perhaps, perhaps reading a book in, inside the park, or tripping on that on ecstasy at a at a rave festival. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm saying you know they'll oh, like... they will they will adopt your approach because of what, what you've done. That's where you have to be. A nation can nations that are going to be peaceful or have good connections or communities going to be peaceful or have good connections can't be known as aggressors. Yeah. No, you can only live, you know, no, you can only live in a society and only societies can live with each other only by mutual consent. Yes, 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 mutual consent. That's the best way to approach it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm just, I, I, I don't know. Um, do, do you have any, any, any rundown on this Security Council vote yesterday? What the U.S. is trying to pull? Because you know what the U.S. Yeah. called it. Yeah, when yeah. Stop is, is, yeah. You know, the shit. U.S. resolution referred to a ceasefire, and they claimed that it was a resolution for a ceasefire, but it wasn't. It was a resolution referring to a ceasefire, saying that it would be good to have a ceasefire, but doesn't call for a ceasefire. It doesn't call for an oh. immediate ceasefire. See, you know, it, it's see, just you know, like cover, do. you know, to let Israel continue, you know, like with its sinus, you know, genocide there. Yeah. You see, there's never a treaty they haven't broken. Hmm. There's never a document they haven't said, oh, we didn't mean that. Here they go in again, trying hmm. to bring us some nonsense in the UN. Because I thought, well, I, I'm going to tell you what, really, me being Mr. You know, Mr. Mr. Naive at times, so maybe the U.S. has finally come to its senses and know that Biden has to win the election. So let's see what, what the, I was trying to find it online, and I really got both down. I said, oh, it must not have been any good anyway. You know, was, I hear you know, I uh, Blinken came out with some sort of you know statement critical of uh, of the of the Zionists. Blinken, I haven't heard it yet, you know, but uh, Blinken. Oh my God, somebody needs to just somebody needs to give him a hug and then pinch his butt. What's wrong with you, fool? His grandma needs to give him say, Anthony, what's wrong with you? Shake him one time. I'm oh, sorry, grandma. I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> You know how your elder can say, "What's wrong with you?" Oh, I'm sorry. You know, he's such a jerk. He's such. I mean, he's. I mean, he's such a. He's such a uh, manipulator and such a believer in uh, in uh, the Zionist cause. He's such a zombie. That's what he is. He's just a zombie. He looks like a zombie too. He kind of, he kind of does look a zombie, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 I mean. What? I mean, it's kind of a weird looking deal. Everybody... You know, it's, it's, it's some sort of, you know, mental block that he has there, you know, that he can't see, you know, what he's seeing. Um, you know, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's all too much, you know. It's all so sad, you know. It's very, it's very saddening, you know. Maybe not de depressive, you know, but saddening. Profound, you know, sadness. Yeah. And the Palestinians yeah, I mean, are so desperate now, and they'd probably jump on the wharf that the uh, 
that the American military is building right yeah, now uh, with the yeah. debris from the from the houses that was destroyed by the by the bombardments. You know, they're building this wharf way out into the Mediterranean. Have you seen the wharf? Have you seen the, the Yeah, the, the, I saw some pictures of it, you know, and they're and, and they've got, you know, like a, about five five hundred yards already, you know, built. And well, uh if there's gonna be boats there bringing, you know, some aid in, uh, you know, you know, the Palestinians are gonna jump out the boat, you know, when it's gonna be leaving, you know, because they're gonna to wanna to leave, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, maybe it's you know being set up for that purpose, you know. The gray zone people, you know, think that it's that it's set up for that purpose, you know, to uh, siphon off the Palestinians out of out of Gaza and concede yeah, the territory, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. To the occupation. Yeah. 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 Who, who is who was doing the building? US military? Yeah, that's what wasn't clear, you know, like all of a sudden, you know, all these bulldozers appeared, you know, out of yeah, nowhere, yeah. you know, like all this yeah, construction appeared that could, you, could have, you know, um, you know, lifted up, you know, the concrete slabs lying on top of people, you know, in, in, the, in the homes that were blown apart, you know, that, and so, you know, and that equipment, you know, wasn't available at that time, you know, now the equipment is available and they're digging up all the debris together with the buried bodies of the Palestinians Okay. Dumping it into the Mediterranean I'll and creating, you know, this this road of death. How sad! How sad! So deplorable. Yeah. So, anyway, but, but the baseball game, the baseball season must go on. The NBA All Stars have to be have to be held. Golden yeah. Glove and and the and the Kevin Wars must be seen. Yeah. Sometimes, anybody, we have to just stop for a second. Yeah, you gotta stop for a second. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, stop the world, you know. That's what I wrote one time. Yes, yes, you know, stop like for everything has got to stop. You know, this is the most important yeah. thing. And together, you know, all you know, these genocides, you know, and the civil wars, you know, that are going on at the at at the expense of the local population, not at the expense of the soldiers, you know. Some of them, you know, 10%, you know, will get killed, you know, and they're willing, you know, to go ahead with it, you know, because they're getting paid to kill. Okay. So Meanwhile, in Sudan and Congo, you know, it's the civilians who are being, you know, killed in the crossfire. So because they happen to be, you know, like living in the wrong place or, you know, descended from, you know, the wrong parents or something like that, they ended up, you know, getting genocided. You know, three genocides happening at the same time now in the world. At the same what time. What is the world doing? It, you know, like the world should just stop and solve this, you know, before anything yeah, else, you know. Uh, Nothing uh, else matters uh, but this. Yeah, you yeah, know, this is the first thing, not the economy. Who cares about the economy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 and the and the and the system we have of capitalism imperialism refuses. Yeah, those who are in it have to simply say we got to stop for a second. When you know, like, like you come home and you see this bill's not being done or something's not right, you gotta say, wait a minute, let's just stop and get this right. Stop. Yeah. We'll take you look at, but yeah, this our world, the, the our world will not stop. The world we live in will not stop, or it does stop in some civilizations. But the civilization of the of, of, of the imperialist states, the collective West, it does not allow to stop because stopping means the profit profit will not be made. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, like something with you know terribly, you know, like uh, <laughs> the death of money, you know, like is more important than death of of humanity. But, wow. but, but that's that's that, but that's exactly how it is. And that's yeah. why things don't stop. I was just yeah. I, I have a colleague who lives in a country that I'm not gonna name. And last, I think a week, a week or two ago, on one day, the country stopped. Hmm. The, the airport was closed. Everything hmm. was closed. Nothing was open. It stopped for a day. I said, wow. Hmm. I can't even imagine. Hmm. Just, it stopped for a day. So, you know, hey, whatever. Anyway. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Genocide. Together with, you know, capitalism, you know, killing the planet. Number two. You know, a second reason to stop everything. You, you Even the third world countries, you know, are selling off, you know, the oil, you know, to burn off, you know, the combustibles as fast as possible to make as much bucks as possible. And... I, think, I think the third world, I, I, I mean, not living in a third world country is hard to make a suggestion. But I want to just ask the third world, the people who live in, the, in within the third world who may be listening to this, how is development making your life better? Hmm. Do you have, I mean, I'm talking about even under the system. Do you have a refrigerator full of food? Do you have three to five months of money in the bank? 
Do you have, do you have, are your children going to school and getting education that will make sure that they're able to survive and grow so they are better off than you are providing for them? Do you have a, you know, do you have a neighbor next door, a country that's trying to aggress on you, or are you aggressing on, on your neighbor next door? If, if, if the development, if the oil discoveries, the lithium, the mining of gold and um, all kind of pressure. Diamonds, diamonds. Right, right. Diamonds. If that's not, not making the society hmm. well, then you need to stop. Yeah. yeah. It's that because the yeah. development isn't helping you. I think that I'm only 25% of those societies actually have a decent life. Uh, everybody else yeah. is just struggling. But they're, they're, still, they're still struggling. You get all, this, yeah. all, all the resources are going, out, are going out the country. Yeah. And the go kids on, who on. are digging, you know, with their hands, you know, for oh, cobalt, yeah, you know, to make oh, uh, mobile man. phones with here. Yeah. Those kids' lives, are, oh, yeah. they're 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 so they're so close to death and death and uh, being handicapped for the rest of their lives. They're like yeah. they're like they're like this close to that. Yeah, because the, the exposure to those minerals is deadly. They're in it up. They're up. To, in it up. Up to their knees and chest. Sometimes digging out of it is nonsense, man. So stop. You have to stop and organize and fight back and take control of yeah. the land. Take control of the environment. Whatever it means you have to do, you got to stop. If you don't stop, it's it isn't going to stop. Yeah, it's not everybody stop. should just stop and become an activist, a political activist. <laughs> you know, yeah, I would do it. I mean, you know, yeah. and the world. If if the world is. If the world is ours, that may be a choice that, that we have to yeah. make. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what uh, revolutionary mobilization, you know, means. Right, revolutionary mobilization. It'd be better to do it in an organized fashion, you know. But uh, right. really, you know, right. we need more people, you know, to get involved. Right. And that's you, right. the listener here and now. I guess so. We're going to be ending soon, you know, by by not by will, but by uh, by limitation here. But you know, this is uh, enough for the moment, you know. Yeah. I think that what we've been uh, saying here is not not to be heard you know, anywhere else. And that's why our work here is so necessary. So thank you for uh, your participation, Steve. And uh, thank Carmen, you for participating. Thank you for participating we, yourself. We, we continue. Oh, what right. is it? Uh, 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 in Spanish, uh, uh, cont, cont, oh, no, in French, you know, in 1968, continuons le combat. C'est qu'un début. Wait, my accent is so terrible there. Continuons le combat, c'est qu'un début. Okay, let us continue the struggle. This is only the beginning. And that's, you, you know, like, even though it's not the beginning, you know, like every every sort of you know, step is another beginning, you know, for something else, you know, so that's right. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Very good. Very good.